Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss questions that were asked in the International Max Olympia 2017-18 from the Everyday Mathematics section for standard 5. Let's look at the question. The first question is there on your screen. We have to find out the sum of the first two numbers, the sum of the second two numbers and subtract the answers that we get. Let's try to find that out. I have to find out 52,33,257 plus 27 lakhs 43,425 what will be the sum find out the sum this is the sum similarly let's find out the sum of the next two numbers given this is the sum of the next two numbers and what is the difference between the sum of these two numbers the answer that we get is 18 lakhs 18,175 or that is nothing but option C next question the smallest six digit number that can be formed using 926031 use each digit only once is dash I have to form a six digit number how many here digits do I have here 1 2 3 4 5 6 yes if I have to form the smallest six digit number the first number that should come should be 1 among these digits I cannot start with 0 if I start with 0 I will get a five digit number so I have to start with 1 after that 0 will come and then arrange the remaining digits in the ascending order so I will have 2 3 6 9 this will be the smallest six digit number that you can form using the given digits which is our correct answer option our correct answer option here is option b the product of a number and 234 is x taken 58 from x gives 2984 find the number what is given here in the question the product of a number and 234 is x that is 234 multiplied by some number the answer we are getting is x and they are saying when 58 is taken away from x that is x minus 58 that is equal to 2984 or what is the value of x x is nothing but 2984 plus 58 or that is nothing but 3000 42 this is the value of x now what is the number now now i know that 234 multiplied by some number gives me the answer as 3042 what will be the value of that number that number will be 3042 divided by 234 what will be a, you can divide this and check otherwise you can also check with the options see 234 if the number was let's say 10 234 multiplied by 10 is 2340 now the answer that we are getting here is 3042 so definitely the number that we are looking for is greater than 10 so if you look at the options directly you can eliminate these two options option a and option c and then you are left with option b and option d now if option d was my answer let us say it was 234 multiplied by 15 yes when i am multiplying any given number by 15 right last digit here is 5 and last digit here is 4 so my answer is going to end with a 0 but if you see the answer that i have got is 3042 definitely it's not a multiple of 15 right any multiple of 15 or for any number for that matter which ends with 5 the last digit of that answer will either be 0 or 5 here that's not the case so obviously 15 is also not going to be our answer let us check out 13 when you try to find out the value you will see that the answer is 3042 so your correct answer here is option b see at this point till this i hope it was clear to all of you at this point what you can do is you can divide 3042 divided by 234 directly and find the answer if you are finding the division to be difficult you can check with the options that is another way of approaching the questions now how will i check with the options option a and option c are definitely wrong because the value is less than 10 option d will also be wrong because when i multiply 234 by 15 see you need not even multiply it completely just start if you start multiplying 5 fours are 20 0 2 carry over now whatever other numbers come here i know the last digit of this answer is going to be 0 but here I have 3042 the last digit is not 0 so obviously option D is also wrong the correct answer will be option B find the difference between the place value of 5 in the 
given number. What is this? Uh, what is the place value? So, what is the number that is given to us? Two five seven five seven eight. That is two lakh fifty seven thousand five hundred and seventy eight. Place value of this five is nothing but this is in the hundreds place, units place, tens place, hundreds place, and thousands place. This is in the ten thousands place. So, what is the place value of this five? The place value of this five is nothing but hundreds place or five hundred, and the place value of this five is nothing but fifty thousand because it is in the ten thousands place. And what is the difference that we are looking for? Fifty thousand minus five hundred. That is nothing but forty nine thousand five hundred. Correct answer is option C. The value of thirteen multiplied by five plus sixty three divided by seven plus twelve minus nine is equal to dash. We have to find out the answer for the expression given here. Whenever you have such questions where you have divisions, multiplications, additions, and subtractions coming together, always do the divisions first. Always do the divisions first, followed by the multiplications, followed by the additions and subtractions. Always remember, first should be division and multiplication. Then addition and subtraction. Addition and subtraction in whichever order you do, that is, you can do the subtraction first, then the addition, or the addition and then the subtraction. That doesn't matter. But always do the divisions and the multiplications first, and then the additions and the subtractions. So here, what is sixty-three divided by seven? Sixty-three divided by seven is nine. Similarly, what is thirteen multiplied by five? Thirteen multiplied by five is sixty-five. So I have sixty-five. Plus nine plus twelve minus nineteen. What is sixty-five plus nine? That is nothing but seventy-four. Seventy-four plus twelve minus nineteen. What is seventy-four plus twelve? Seventy-four plus twelve is eighty-six. Eighty-six minus nineteen, which is equal to. The correct answer here is option D, sixty-seven. So for this question, do not do thirteen multiplied by five is. 65 and 65 plus 63. Find that out and then divide by 7. You will definitely go wrong. You will not get the correct answer. Like I said, always do the divisions and the multiplications first, and then do the additions and the subtraction. The correct answer here is option D, 67. There are 24 rows of guava trees in a farm. Each row has 415 trees. Trees of Five rows are cut down. The total number of remaining guava trees in the farm is dash. Totally, how many rows are there? There are twenty-four rows of guava trees. Twenty-four rows of guava trees are there, and each row has four hundred and fifteen trees. Now, what is happening? Five trees of five rows are cut down. So five rows are cut down. Means, see, earlier there was one, two, three like this. There was twenty-four rows. Okay, now out of this twenty-four rows, five rows are gone. So how many rows are remaining now? How many rows are remaining? Rows remaining is nothing but twenty-four minus five. And what is that? Twenty-four minus five is nothing but nineteen. Now there are only nineteen rows, and in all of these nineteen rows, totally how many trees are there? Each row has four hundred and fifteen trees. So nineteen rows will have four hundred and fifteen multiplied by nineteen. Trees. What is the answer? Seven thousand eight hundred and eighty-five. The correct answer here is option C. Param mixes one point four five kg of pink candy with two point one five kg of orange candy and packs them in some boxes of equal weight. If the candies in each box weighs zero point one eight kg, how many boxes are packed by Param? So totally, what is the weight of the candies that Param has with him? He has 1.45 kgs of pink candy and 2.15 kg of orange candy. So totally, the weight of the candy that Param has with him is nothing but 3.60 kgs. Now, this 3.60 kgs of candies, he is packing it in boxes, and the weight of each box is 0.18 kg. How many boxes? Does he require? So I just have to do 3.6 divided by 0.18. So I have decimal values here in this division. What I can do is I can just multiply the numerator and the denominator of this fraction by 100. So as to I can remove the decimal value. Then it will be easier for me to solve. Or this will be nothing but 
360 divided by 18. What is the answer when you divide 360 by 18? The answer that you get will be 20. Correct answer here is option A, 20. I am multiplying the numerator and the denominator of this fraction by 100 so that I can remove the decimals. I can, I can find the answer easily. I just have to do 360 divided by 18 which is equal to 20. So totally there are 20 boxes that are required. Next question. A bucket can hold 23.65 liters of water. How many such buckets will be required to hold 496.65 liters of water? One bucket can hold 23.65 liters of water. How many such buckets will be required to hold 496.65 liters of water? One way of solving the question is just find out 496.65 divided by 23.65 if you find out the answer for this that will be the answer that you are looking for the other way would be to check with the options that is 23.65 multiplied by 23 see what is the answer that you get uh, similarly do 23.65 multiplied by 19 see what the answer that you get see which of the for which of the ones you will get the answer as 496.65 and that will be your correct answer when you divide 496.65 divided by 23, the answer that you get will be 21. So 21 buckets will be required to fill the water. Each floor of a high-rise building is fitted with 20 doors. There are 12 floors in each building. There are 25 such buildings in a complex. The total number of doors fitted in the complex is dash. It is given that each floor of the building has 20 doors and there are 12 such floors so how many doors will be there in 12 floors 20 multiplied by 12 and how many such buildings are there 25 buildings are there what will be the total number of doors that will be there in the complex see that is nothing but 25 into 20 it's very easy to multiply right 25 multiplied by 2 is 50 or 20 multiplied by 25 is nothing but 500 so 500 multiplied by 12 or that is equal to 6000 totally there are 6000 doors in the complex correct answer here is option c i hope the questions that we solved in this video was clear to all of you if you have any doubts in any of these questions please do let me know in the comments box i'll be happy to help you out thank you